And welcome to Leeds Rhinos. How does it feel to be starting a new chapter of your career? Yeah, I don't think it's sunken in just yet. Um, I played on Sunday and still haven't time to um, think about the memories that I've created as a player, but definitely excited to step into this new coaching role and something that I'm very keen to do. You've been coaching um, with the Roses. Yeah. How, how do you find that? Is coaching something you, you've really taken to? I love my role. It's, I think it's very technical and very specific. And yeah, my time with the Roses have been amazing. And I think that's why I pursued more coaching um, because it was just a taste that I really enjoyed. What will a Rhinos team coached by Leanne Lewis look like, <laughs> do you think? Have you thought about the style and how you want to play? Yeah, oh, I've got so many ideas, um, but I know I need to be realistic and, and keep um, the small goals at, at task at the moment, but definitely to play with freedom and openness to let the ball do the work and just, yeah, just a hard work ethic and a never-say-die attitude. You've met with Dan Busfield and some yeah. of the people behind the scenes. What influenced you to come to the Rhinos? I think it was just the whole ethos around this club. I got to go see the history corridor and what I like all the time and effort put behind there. And I think growing up in New Zealand, um, netball and rugby has always sit side by side. And just, yeah, I think the whole culture and family at first is what a big draw card for me. What do the next couple of months look like? <laughs> Obviously, there'll be some work with the yes. Rhinos, also with Roses as well. Yeah, so it's just trying to balance both. I go to Commonwealth Games um, with England as a technical coach, so that'll be full time, but also just trying to get the recruitment starting and get people signed and eager to start next year. So that was the first thing on my to-do list. We talked, didn't we, that you did play your last game, but mm. you're not saying that. <laughs> I can't. I think I'm just the person that if someone was to ask me, you know, I would, I would put my heart on the line and, and say yes, but um, I will find something else. I think I'd, I could never stop playing sport. You know, that's been my life for the last 20 years. So it will be hard to step away.